what is up guys welcome to the video today is gonna be a little bit different of a video we're gonna be tracking a few different forms of exercise and tracking our heart rate and the amount of calories we burn during each exercise try to figure out what the best way to burn calories is and at the end of the video i'm going to give you my opinion on the best way to burn calories but if you're following along on my marathon prep journey we are out here at the track about to do a six mile track workout and and we are going to be using this heart rate monitor to be tracking our calories for each form of exercise again we have a six mile track workout right now so let's just jump into it i'm breathing in poison trying to keep my eyes open why you out there flirting you're too busy loving your double life love it love it okay so it's been a couple hours we just made it to the gym obviously we burned over a little over 800 calories during that run uh, if you're following along on my marathon prep journey i'm basically following the 80 20 rule 80 percent of my runs are going to be slow and at my math rate and 20 percent of my runs are going to be like track workouts focused on speed and getting faster but yeah we're going to jump into the gym knock out a push workout and let's see how many calories i burn during this session all right you were too good at leaving no more waiting around yeah i'm sneaking out of this mess this time so say goodbye I, I, I. you'll never get close to me close to me again you wish you could fly back into my arms should have thought twice before you turned your back on me now i'm erasing history Okay guys, what is up? We just wrapped up the push workout. We burned a little over 600 calories. I put that on the screen. There are some variables that go into it. Our workouts right now are not that intense. Uh, to increase the intensity, you can decrease the rest times in between sets. Right now, my workouts are pretty comfortable, really just focused on maintaining as much strength as I can because we're running a lot right now. So I'm just really focused on maintaining as much strength as I can right now. But we just wrapped up that push workout. Now we're gonna head to Arab, doing something a little bit different, something you may not have thought of, but we're gonna do a jujitsu session. Get in a jujitsu session. Uh, let's see how many calories we burn during a jujitsu session. They, they're pretty intense. Uh, you, you leave there in a pole of sweat. But yeah, we're gonna see how many calories we burn doing that. So let's just jump into that. Anything you want it. Oh, you know I got it I was like a slave to you Commander, you whipped me blue My mind was depleting Oh, you're so misleading Your love was like a rotten wine Yet I drank you time after time So say goodbye I, I, You'll never get close to me Close to me again You wish you could fly Okay guys, so it is the next day. I know jujitsu can be boring to watch, but it's definitely not boring to do. And it's a pretty valuable skill to learn. And I'm not gonna act like I know what I'm doing because I'm still very new to it and I don't really know what I'm doing. But we burned over a little over 860 calories during our, it was a little over an hour session. But it's the next day, we have a cross training session today. So we're gonna be on the bike for 80 minutes. And if you watched the last video, I am doing the Maffetone method. So I'm gonna be doing the Maffetone method during this bike session, keeping my heart rate at my math rate. But yeah, we have 80 minutes, Let's jump into that. Okay, so we just got done with our 80 minute cross training session. I will put the amount of calories we burned on the screen. It's a little over 800 calories. I wanted to go over a couple things. One, I could not get in my math rate. I could not hit my math rate of 146 to 156 beats per minute. Uh, I was in zone two pretty much the whole time. Number two, uh, the amount of calories I burned, like this heart rate monitor that I'm wearing said I burned over 800 calories, but the stationary bike I was on said I burned over 1100 calories, which that's a huge gap, which I'm gonna trust the heart rate monitor, which is actually tracking my heart rate and knows how much energy I'm expending 
more than the stationary bike does. The stationary bike doesn't know anything about me. Uh, my, it doesn't know my heart rate. It doesn't know my body composition. It doesn't know anything. So I think a lot of people are fooled by the equipment at the gym, whether it's the treadmill, elliptical, Stairmaster, stationary bike, of how many calories they think they're burning whenever they're not actually burning that amount of calories. And number three, I don't, I don't go into my workout saying, hey, I need to burn this amount of calories. I just thought it was gonna be cool to track these different forms of exercise with my heart rate monitor to see how many calories I burn with each form of exercise just to give you a perspective and to me a perspective of because this is my lifestyle right now I just kind of want to know how many calories I'm expending and just to give you an idea of like there's so many different ways and forms of exercise that you can just be more active and to burn more calories over the long run but now we're gonna get into my opinion on the best way to burn calories. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a little recap on each form of exercise we did, the duration of each exercise we did, and the amount of calories we burned doing that. But regardless, my opinion on the best way to burn calories is going to be weightlifting. It's gonna be hitting the weights for a few reasons. One aspect of burning calories, you're gonna be burning calories during your workout, breaking down your muscle, and whenever you leave the gym, your body needs energy, aka calories, to replenish your muscles, to build back, and to recover. So you're gonna be burning a lot more calories just functioning after your workouts as well. Number two is the more muscle mass you have, the more calories your body needs to just function. So the more muscle mass you build, your body is going to just naturally expend more calories every day. So you can shape your body any way you want to. Like you can go to the gym, you want bigger biceps, you want bigger arms, go work some biceps and triceps. You want a bigger chest, go work chest. You want a bigger ass girl, go do squats, glute bridges. Number three is gonna be the strength aspect. Like strength can help you in so many different aspects of life, like functional strength or like running. Having a strong core can help me be a better runner, especially if your core is lacking. Uh, being stronger can help me in jujitsu. Is strength going to make me be able to beat someone who has more technique or just knows more than me? Absolutely not, but whenever you, nobody ever complains about being too strong. It's always, I'm too weak or I'm not strong enough to do this or do that. It's strength can help you in all aspects of life. And I'm making this video and I'm mentioning all of this because I know New Year's is coming up, New Year's resolutions are coming up. I know people, more people are gonna be in the gym and whenever I usually see more people in the gym, uh, after New Year's, I usually see a lot of people in the cardio section and there's nothing wrong with that Especially if you're not that active or not active at all Like getting in the gym going on the treadmill can definitely be beneficial to you And there's absolutely nothing wrong with cardiovascular health like I just started running Six seven months ago, and I love the benefits of my cardiovascular health being better than it was But if I'm focusing on burning overall calories, it's going to be lifting weights. And I'm gonna wrap up this video with just two more things real quick. One, it doesn't really matter how many calories this or that burns. Let's just give jujitsu an arbitrary number. Let's say in an hour you burn 3,000 calories. That's a lot of calories, but if you hate jujitsu and you're never gonna go and you're never gonna be consistent, it doesn't matter how many calories you're burning. Number two, eating. Like it, it all depends on how many calories you're putting in your mouth. Like. It, you have if your goal is to lose weight it all depends on you eating in a caloric deficit and being consistent with it and then just training can help you expend more calories so you can eat more food while still being in a deficit if that makes any sense to you but I mean that's pretty much the video I'm trying not to sit here too long and just talk to the camera for minutes on minutes but yeah if you enjoyed the video subscribe and I'll see you in the next video